Hepatitis A is a virus that spread through fecal oral contamination, so from direct contact with a person, drug use, or contaminated food and water. It's a real good reason to wash your hands and wash your vegetables. But what happens is it gets into your body, goes through the bloodstream and your intestines, typically causes disease about 10 to 12 days after you're exposed. Now, in kids, this is a very mild illness. In fact, if you're less than six years old, you almost have no symptoms at all. Older children or adults may have some low-grade fever, some fatigue, nausea, decreased appetite, right upper quadrant abdominal pain, then their urine may turn dark, and then they start to turn yellow. Now, if you have symptoms, they usually last for less than two months, but in about 10 to 15% of the population, they may last up to six months. Now, this virus is shed from the time you start to get sick for up to three weeks afterwards, so you remain infectious for quite a while. It only leads to about 100 deaths per year, and that's mainly because of fulminant hepatitis in older adults. So then the question is, why do we give it to children? When we're talking about vaccines, to get a vaccine approved, it needs to meet one of three criteria. The vaccine either needs to prevent a significant source of death or a significant morbidity, which is what the disease leaves you with. So in the case of like polio, trying to prevent the paralysis that happened afterwards or economics. Now, this is one of the vaccines that probably boils down more to economics than anything else. In 1989, prior to the vaccine's introduction, hepatitis A cost the United States $200 million. Now, that is either through missed days of work, decreased productivity, or the actual cost of medicine or hospitalization. In today's dollars, that equals $380 million. Now, the vaccine is given as two shots, each one costing less than $34, so less than $68 per person to vaccinate. There are about 4 million babies born in the United States every year. So if we vaccinate all of them, it comes up to about $272 million to vaccinate the entire population, which saves the United States about $108 million dollars per year. Now the vaccine itself is given as a two dose shot, one at 12 months and then the other one six to 18 months afterwards. The vaccine itself is very, very safe, it typically only causes painted injection site. And to be honest, we're not even sure if that painted injection site wasn't just caused from the needle. Contraindications are very few. You shouldn't get it if you have a moderate to severe illness or if you have a past history of having an allergic reaction to one of the components.